The next thing you're going to need to know if you're going to reserve resources or rooms in Outlook web app is how you can see the calendar for the resource. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. Notice when you are in the calendar tab, on the left hand side there is a um, label for other cal calendars. If you right click on that or if you're on a Mac you hold down your control key and click on that you will get the option in a menu to open calendar. So I'm going to select that and we have a directory of these rooms and resources and each one of them has a prefix in front of it based on the building. So Tanglin is TG dash, Hopkins High School is HHS dash, um, Meadowbrook is MB dash, etc. So I just want to see those that are at Hopkins High School. So if I put in HHS dash, and then definitely do the dash because that's going to get you to where you want to go fastest, and then click search then all of those rooms and resources would come up and select. So what you're going to want to do here is you look at these in the list and anything that you care about or something that you might reserve or you might may have a need to know who is reserving it, you're going to want to add those to your other calendar so that you can get to the, it quickly to see that calendar in the future. So I'm just going to do one right now, but I could add several. So I'm going to do West 161. And then I'm going to click open and you will notice that that appears with a different color on the left hand side. So if I just want to see that particular resource and who has booked it, um, then I would probably deselect my own calendar. That's just temporary. I can select it again and it'll come back, but I'll deselect my own calendar and um, and that way I'm only looking at West 161 right now. So you can see in my last video I reserved at from 1 to 3 or 1 to 2.30 this computer lab. And again, I can see it in monthly view, week view, work week view. So here are two reservations of that particular resource um, during this particular work week. Now, the name of the person who made the reservation comes up automatically and the rest of the reservation is what I put in the description field when I added um, the reservation for this calendar. Now um, the other thing I wanted to mention is if I go back to monthly view here and I um, if I don't want to see that particular computer lab and I just want to look at my calendar, I can toggle my calendar back on and then this is something that I can toggle off so it's not something I'm looking at unless I need to look at it. So it will stay in there permanently unless you want to remove this from your other calendars view. To remove it, you hold on the control key, single click on the resource name, and then you choose remove. You can also change the color if you wanted to. One last thing, if I was going to delete a, an event that was on the resource calendar. This is just one thing that I think is a little counterintuitive or funky. I would click on it and instead of using the word delete you hit cancel and then you have to say yes you'll go back to type a message and the reason I don't like this is because it's now looks like you're authoring an email to a computer lab and that seems silly but all you have to do is click the send button and it will be taken off of the calendar. So that's how you get rid of your reservation.